Good morning, dear friends. I pray that you are enjoying a quiet, reflective Memorial Day. Memorial Day is such a significant occasion as we pause to remember and offer thanks for those courageous men and women who have given so much so that our freedoms remain. We honor those who rose above personal need and safety to protect and preserve our own. We celebrate those heroes of our past and soberly think of their contribution to our existence. In this new day of a pandemic, we have new heroes to thank. Our doctors and nurses, scientists, medical personnel, first responders, pharmacists, grocery store clerks, and the list just goes on and on and on with the names of those who have risked much to protect and preserve us. We honor those who have served so valiantly in this crisis. As we think about our past heroes and present-day servants, may we also take a moment to think about our great nation and the responsibility that each of us has to assure that it always remains the home of the brave and the land of the free. Robert Raines offers some thoughtful words as we reflect together on this Memorial Day. He wrote it in 1972, but the words are perhaps more relevant today than they were then. Break down the ancient enmities and make peace in our land. Let the rich share power. Let the poor take power. Let the old advise and consent. Let the young create and dissent. Let us love the good in our country more than we hate the evil. Bring into the common life all those who are left out and who feel left out. Give hope to all who have reason to fear the future. Give us passionate determination to use the great wealth and power in our nation, that each child may live in a decent home, go to a first-class school, have a job opportunity for a job suitable to his or her talent and skill, and that the aging abiding among us live in security and dignity. Deliver us from narrow affections and partisan considerations, that our hopes be inclusive, rather than exclusive, and that our spirit be to share rather than to hoard. Restrain the reckless among us and curb the violence in us all, that we may defend the weak, pursue justice without partiality, and conduct ourselves with forbearance. That which is evil in us, let it die. That which is good in us, let it grow, grow until there is indeed brotherhood from sea to shining sea, and we become in truth as in hope, America the beautiful. As we move through this Memorial Day, remembering and celebrating those who have given so much for us, may we honor them and our nation by giving our very best as church, as citizens of our great nation, as members of the global community. May God give us wisdom and grace to do so. Blessings be with you all. Amen.